almost everywhere in Benue State you find one water body or the other, especially from the river Benue, overlooking the 5.2 billion naira Greater Makodi waterworks for a little impact on the community. Some Makodi residents drive for up to four kilometers to the treatment plant to access portable water from these external pipes because the reticulation component of the facility has failed to work. Critical institutions like the Benue State University community with over 50,000 population and the teaching hospital established for research and clinical services for our medical students has water supply challenges too. After the team inspected the mini water treatment plant at the university campus, the vice chancellor makes some demands from government. We need chemicals, we need pumps, we need other you know, accessories that will make us have hot water. But these are not coming because they are also a function of money. Because the water problem of this university bothers the person, our person as a governor. He's primarily concerned about the water situation in BSU. And then the ministry has the ministry to come and familiarize itself with the challenges of water in the Benue State. At the Tetan Hospital, the team was received by the chief medical director who requested for increased storage facilities and daily reticulation of water for the running of the hospital. Patient load increased, our staff strength increased, the relatives who come with patients increased, it became so, so difficult to get water. Uh, so we don't get the water as regularly as uh, we should. On the environmental impact assessment of flooding across parts of the state, the commissioner wants residents to improve their hygiene. From the river Benue, that is not safe for domestic use, to the problem of flooding in Makudi, residents seem to be caught up in a crisis one that only the timely intervention of government can resolve.